All right. So over the weekend, information was released about Justin Roiland uh, basically alleging that he is a domestic abuser. Um, and I'll be honest with you. I could care less about Rick and Morty or the High on Life video game that came out. So this flew a little under my radar, but I did see the information for it. And the thing that stuck out to me that made me even want to make a video about it is Adult Swim's <laughs> message saying that he will no longer be a part of the show, but they are going to continue to make Rick and Morty. Well, let me tell you something here. I absolutely cannot stand when companies make this decision to performatively cut ties with a creator and owner of content, whatever it may be, but continue to produce the content. One, do you think that we are stupid enough to believe that Justin Roiland will lose his ownership or lose the money that he makes from his creation just because he is no longer inf uh, influencing the creative process? No. So what you're saying is that now an abuser is still going to be making money from his creation and you think it will make us feel better that he is no longer creating it. What two things that's going to do continue to uh, not incentivize, but continue to benefit the person who you're trying to harm with these punitive measures, Justin Roiland, and it is going to compromise the quality of the product that he creates. Once again, I want to go back to the part where I said, I don't watch Rick and Morty or care about any of this stuff. But one thing I can say objectively is that most of the time that a create a, a cartoon, a show, a creative project is separated from its primary creator, oftentimes there is a drop in the quality of the production. Take the Boondocks, for example. Once Andrew Gruber, I think his name is, moved away from the project, the quality suffered. Seasons four and on are not very memorable. I don't even think that I've watched all of the episodes, nor do I have any intentions to, because they just weren't as funny as the original material. The same thing will be happening more than likely with any Rick and Morty involved content. Likewise with the game studio that was apparently shut down. If Adult Swim truly cared within the realms of what they can do in their contracts, they would scrap the show so that it didn't make any more money. But to them, they're saying, hey, even though this person is an abuser, we're going to get him out of the spotlight and continue to do business with him so that you don't think about the fact that we're making money with this domestic abuser. That's what they're doing. And that's performative. Uh, it's low, but it is generally accepted. This is what companies do in this kind of a circumstance. I, for one, always think that it's just a joke. And it really makes me, it, it pushes me further away from companies when they do things like this. To me, I would rather you stand up and say, hey, we understand what this person did was wrong, but we're going to continue to work with them in the creative capacity that we do. Or, or you have the option. Hey, what this person did was wrong. Therefore, we will no longer be supporting any avenue that they make money with us because that is what happens when you actually cut ties with somebody. So let's name off a list of things that this person could have done that hopefully they would. If he committed a hate crime and killed somebody, hopefully we would think that they would sever ties completely. Um, if he was involved in any type of uh, unsavory acts with children that start with a P. That's another thing. Pretty much murder in general. Um, you know, these are things that people should want to cut ties with somebody who they do business with when they do certain things. Um, domestic violence is one of them. But are you actually cutting ties with them if you continue to do business with them in the background and they're just not on camera or in front leading the creative process in the eyes of the public? And is that an actual win? Is that actual justice? Or is this just something to make the business look better in the court of public opinion? Ask yourself. Don't ask me. I ain't got no answer for you. I made the video.